Well, that explains how Woods lived through that explosion, I guess. And now he's been captured and put into a little containment unit, and now we're going to do a rescue mission. Apparently everybody's shooting at me, and then we get hit by a little rocket launcher right there. Wow, what a lucky shot. And now, looks like we're just going to have to land. And, well, let's see, where am I going to jump? Jump, Mason! Okay, jump, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, oh my god. Oh, punch, and, oh, brutal kill. I wonder if it actually censors it if you take off the graphic little scenes. Who knows? Maybe it's just that you see it not bleeding out through the neck, or just you would see him cut at his neck and there's no blood or something like that. I don't know how they cut, I don't know how they censor it. And apparently I'm not able to cut that guy, I guess. And, oh, okay, die, 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 die. All right, die, die, die. Okay, why aren't you dead? I struck you twice. I, okay. Oh, dang. Well, at least it got a little more realistic with that. I shot him in the neck, and yep, he's just grasping his neck. And that uh, just breathe his final breath. All right. Well, here's some flat jackets that we get to wear, and now we are not... We're, we're immune to being... Well, not immune, just explosions doesn't hurt us more. All right, and here's a little MG. A little mountain machine gun. I believe that there may be an achievement. I didn't actually looked at all the achievements but this would be a good achievement spot if you were to destroy all the boats but who knows all I know is that I really hope that it's gonna be a great game sooner like later on throughout the campaign is that so far I've only been playing through two missions and I get lost here and there and I have no idea what's been going on and apparently they're boarding the little they're gonna they're boarding the ship and I'm just gonna kill them all all right this is now how a let's play should be like it should be talking about random stuff who knows? All I know is that I actually enjoy playing the campaign so far, and even though I've only been playing two missions, and I'll be posting more missions in the next day afterwards. I just gotta go continue playing, but I'm damn busy with school, and the winter break is almost here, finals is almost here, just got one more month until finals, and I can't wait to get that over with, and I'll be done with the semester. So, yeah, I do go to college, and I am basically taking my general classes for now, and that... Once I'm done with my general classes, I'll take classes towards the degree I'm going for, and I'm going for business administra administration so far, because once you get that business degree, you can go a lot of places, because a lot of people will hire a person who knows a bit of, about business. And dang, a lot of machete kills. I love the machete. All right. All right, let me see. Well, it looks like it's done. It's done and over with, and there's Hudson. And now we got to go open up the containment center. Or the little containment little box right there. Alright. Are I going to open it? Oh, dang it, i got to help you. Do I have to do everything too? Alright, open it up and then we're going to take a gander at what's inside. Lots and lots of dead bodies. Oh my god, is right. There's so many dead bodies. So, let's see. Apparently this has been here for weeks. And guess where Woods is at? A lot of people there, a lot of people there, a lot of dead people everywhere. And, yeah, Woods, look at that. Is that him? Nope, it's not him. And, okay, oh, Frank? is that him? Oh, there he is. Frank? So that's what his name was. Ah, okay. Apparently he's still alive. And he said it was been weeks since he's been in there. How is Woods still alive? That guy has been through a lot. Look how much blood he has all over him. How did he live for so long? Did he have to resort to cannibalism? Ah, uh, who knows. So, yeah. Lots of explosions. Oh, God, they're going to kill us all. Okay. All right. Where are we going to go? Where are we going to go? Okay. Oh. Okay. A little bit dazed right here. I'm sorry. I just realized that I had to leave for one second. I thought it would cut the scene would or a little scene would go further than expected and then look I came back and there we go gonna go use whatever that little launcher is boom up oh, you're not dead alright take another shot We boom what okay you're not dead yet oh I guess you are dead so we're going underwater now how nice and uh, helicopters crashing so yeah again I am going for a business degree business business administration I just gotta take a lot of classes to get to that point so far I'm taking two classes per semester due to the fact that I have a busy busy work schedule and I don't want work to interfere with my class schedule so 
I'm taking two classes at a time. I'm taking it slow. Don't want to spend too much money because I actually have to buy the credits or I have to spend my money onto the classes. So I don't have that much money, especially when I'm wasting money on video games. But I do enjoy playing video games a lot more, and hopefully I can make YouTube commentaries like a career or not really much of a career. It's just a little hobby, a fun hobby on the side, and hopefully I could actually make a living off of that. But until then, it's just going to be a long, long while till I actually get to that point. And now, as you can see, we're just pretty much carrying woods through the forest. Or jungle. I don't want. I was trying not to make a bad pun. I tried not to. So yeah, that's just kind of ironic at that point. So we're just carrying them on over. And apparently we could actually run with woods. And if there's a village nearby. We have to go sneaky, sneaky through the village. And of course Hudson will go first. All right. What are we gonna see here? Hold. Got to take cover behind that log. All right. Up. Up. Hey, up. Oh, it, 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 there we go. Going sneaky, sneaky mode again. Uh, calm down, Woods. Quiet. We don't want you to cough. You don't want to give away positions. Oh my God! There's children with guns. Wow. Uh, are they the Cubans? I can't remember. I think they are. I just, I just don't remember. I remember that they spoke Spanish. And then here's another scene. Get smacked. And he has to go pick up his gun. How did they not notice us? If I had, if I had, I have really have a good eye for detail. I would have noticed like two people and a, a almost dead guy right there, and That's something me. just caught their attention. All right, good woods. You're still alive and you're not coughing. I'm so glad he didn't cough because otherwise I would have given away our positions and we're gonna die. So we're gonna crouch. So this is where we're gonna go sneaky, sneaky, and this is gonna take a long, pretty much a long while to get just to get through, and. Thankfully, we don't actually have to see any kids for for now. I'm not too sure if they're actually going to pop up sooner or later. So, or one of these missions, we're going to have to do something about it. That would really suck. I really don't want to shoot kids. All right. So, a lot of times, video games try to push down the controversies. Yeah, just like Modern Warfare 2, where this one level you get to skip, which really doesn't have anything to deal with the storyline itself, you could rather you could have a choice to either play it or you could skip it. And you guys remember that infamous terminal scene where you get to shoot a crowd of innocent people, and then you kill the people with the riot shields, and you just you just kill everybody. That giant controversy that behind that game, and I. Honestly, in my opinion, oh, I'm stuck first. Okay, move, move. Okay, let's go. Don't cough, Woods. Well, it will. I I could see why it could be controversial when you're shooting a bunch of innocent people. But isn't that just like Grand Theft Auto? Don't you remember that game? How much they pushed the boundaries where you steal cars, you kill people, you get some. Yeah, you get hookers into your taxi cab that you stole. Yeah, that game. Why isn't that much of a controversy? It was so bad that Modern Warfare 2 did this. And then Modern Warfare 3, I honestly haven't played the campaign on that, but as I understand, something blows up, and then there's another controversy behind that game, too. So, yeah. Why is so many video games pushing the boundaries of going through controversies? Well, it is a marketing tool to where people probably may either watch the video of the same scene or they probably go buy the game so they can see this th themselves and experience it for themselves. So it is a brilliant marketing campaign at that point, but at the same time, it is still controversial and still kind of a bad thing. But if you're a person who could actually tell the difference between reality and a video game, then you wouldn't really be offended by it and you don't really care at it for it whatsoever. Just simple as that. Well, here we got some little animal traps. I'm pretty sure there has to be a, some sort of achievement after for this, but as far as I know, I haven't gone in. I haven't really checked the achievements. Maybe I should check the achievements, but at the same time, I really don't want to because otherwise I'll be focused on trying to get the achievement rather than playing the campaign. So this is why I'm not actually focusing on the achievements itself. So that's kind of a good thing. Otherwise, you'd just be seeing me pausing, pausing the screen every single second or trying to do some jump cuts when I don't want to show you guys the little achievement board. But other than that, we're going more sneaky sneaky. All right, we're going to try to get that radio now. This guy's speaking in Spanish. At least they gave us some sort of a translation. 
All right, I'm right behind you, person. What's his name? I can't remember. See his name. Come on, give me the radio. I want the radio. Do as I instruct. All right, come on, give me the radio. I want, the, I want this. Oh, you jerk! Why? I wanted to use the radio so I could contact my friends. So I could get out of here. I didn't want to shoot you, and now, whoa! This guy, honestly. Well, Mason, he is cool, but this guy is fearless, and you will see why in just a bit. He just won't stop talking, and I swear I'm going to blow his head off if you don't drop your guns. Okay, those, those few are cooperating, and now they're the kids. No, no, why do they have to bring the kids into this? Oh, God, a grenade. Oh, whoa, okay, he's struggling now, and two guys jump over the grenade. Now slow motion time. Boom! Headshot. Jump out. And I think the I believe the kids actually got out. I didn't actually pay attention, but I believe the kids got out and they started running away. Because at this point, I have not seen a single kid come through this way, and I'm so glad because I did. I really did not want to shoot them. And okay. Up! Oh, ha ha! You got caught on the bear trap. All right, moving forward. We've gotta go run because they. Oh, we are spotted now, and we can't use the radio since the radio's got destroyed by that jerk. And now, at least I got a headshot off of him. I'm not too sure if I actually shot because I was actually pushing the right trigger trying to shoot the guy. So I don't know if I shot or something else happened. But it's kind of like that moment where you had to do something. Like you feel like you have to do something, otherwise you may die. And I just didn't want to go through that. So. We can go up the little stop or the little scaffold, do a little bit of sniping. I love sniping, but I just don't really hold my breath for anything. Whoa. Explosion. RPG. Okay. All right. Let me see. Oh, dang, another one. All right. Let's throw some smoke grenades. Oh, those are flashbangs. Dang it. All right. Go, go, go. Oh, God. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I don't want to die. Oh my god, I really don't want to die, especially when I'm playing campaign on regular. Oh, I'm dead. One. Alright. So let's continue on, shall we? It's just... I died on regular mode. I suck at this game. Uh, I should have played on recruit, and then I'd probably have a better chance of not dying. I really not. I really ought to not die. Especially when I'm going to be doing Let's Plays, because if I keep dying, that's just going to be embarrassing. Ah, uh, well. Oh, oh, dang it. Oh, I can't see. Dang RPG people. That's just, that's just overpowered. Okay, run. We're gonna run. Okay, and this is why I fool around. Just gonna place more bear traps. <laughs> like I said, I was thinking that there might be an achievement behind that, so that's why I placed some bear traps down on the ground. So, this is why you should not pay attention to the achievements. Get the achievements later and make a video out of that if you want. Just don't focus on trying to get all the achievements so that you won't die as frequently and just don't waste time. Alright, defend. Well, I gotta defend Woods. Alright. So we're gonna throw some more little flashbangs to try to get some distractions so I can get some kills. Oh my god, another RPG. Oh god! Direct impact. Two. Alright. Spawning back. Hurry up. Oh, really? I have to go back through all this again? Well, I apologize for sucking so badly at this game. Alright. Do little. Oh, dang. Shot. Die. Okay. Alright. Run. Hurry up. I don't care. You guys are gonna live. You don't You don't die. I'm the only one that dies. So that's a great tip, especially in a campaign. Your people won't die, so you don't have to worry about them. Your allies won't die, especially unless they actually do die, but it's just none of your concern. It's all about you. Unless they actually make missions where if something does go bad, it'll be your fault because you didn't do anything about that. As far as I know, I don't think you don't have to worry about actually defending woods. It's just basically you fight to survive. Alright, you go die. Oh, dang it. Alright, where are you? Where are you? Okay, look for the RPG people. Because they are the ones that are the most dangerous. Alright. So, anything else? Die. Okay, you. You'll die. Alright, die. Headshot. Okay, you. Oh, 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 okay, I guess you're stuck. Alright, you die. And then you're gonna die. I love the Dragon Office. Not in multiplayer, more for three. Oh, look, that guy's glitched. <laughs> Alright, I guess the glitchy person dies now. Alright. So, if anything else, this is going to be the end of part two, and I will upload part three tomorrow. So, have a nice day, everybody. And then you die. Keep moving!